In this short tutorial, we show you how to make a cheap and ugly tornado effect. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. To create a quick tornado, click your default cube, click object, go down to quick effects and click smoke. Once you've clicked smoke, you can press numpad one for front orthographic view. And then we can scale the domain slightly. And then we press scale Z on the Z axis and we make it nice and long. Once you've got it long enough, you can press G, Z and lift it up above the red line. And then you can select the um, cube, which is currently the flow, and press G, Z and just chuck it somewhere in the middle. Next thing you want to do is right click and go to edit or press tab to go into edit mode and right click and click subdivide and click on this option here. And we're going to make this look funky by using fractal. And let's use fractal, I don't know, eight. And it still fits all within the frame, so that's good. Next thing we wanna do is also make the cuts, maybe two. There we go. Now, once you've done that, you need to select, you need to press tab to go into object mode. And we can press, let's make everything neat, new collection, we're gonna call this domain. Anything that is a domain will go into the domain collection and we've got the smoke domain. Next we're going to create a new collection called flow. Anything that's a flow will go into this collection. In this case it's this cube here. And the other thing we want to do is choose disable and render and make sure you make the flows always disabled in render. Create a new collection and this collection is going to be called force. And we're going to create a force now. We're going to press shift A force field, we're going to use a vertex and you can scale this puppy up if you like and we need to go to the physics settings and make the strength, um, I don't know, 8.5 and everything else is fine. As long as location and rotation is ticked, you should be fine. Next thing you want to do is select your domain and just up the resolution to 100 or 64, whatever your PC can handle. I'm going to make this 100 and then scroll down to adaptive domain, turn adaptive domain on and just up the resolution here. Let's make this 10 and that should be about it. The only thing we need to do now is change this to all, make it resumable, change the length of this. Let's make this a quick animation of 75 frames. We'll do the same at the bottom here and we'll bake this in. I'll see you after the bake. All right, so now if you press spacebar, you can watch this weird looking uh, effect at work going on both sides and eventually it'll, the top will fade a little bit and but it will remain strong at the bottom. There you have it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.